difficulties in the months leading to this final. Steve Cram had had a succession of groin, calf, and ankle injuries. Coe's poor form because of illnesses almost cost him a place on the British 1500 meter team. He was beaten in the British Championships five weeks before the Games. Nevertheless, Coe was selected to join Steve Ovette and Steve Cram as Britain's representatives. His selection was almost unanimously disapproved by the British press. The third British finalist, Steve Ovette, is a surprise. He was hospitalized with respiratory problems after coming in last in the 800 meters. Against his doctor's orders, Ovette left the hospital to qualify for this final. Sebastian Coe breaks out quickly, but Omar Khalifa of Sudan in the black shorts and Joseph Cheshire of Kenya make the turn first. With two and a half laps left, Steve Scott of the United States in the red uniform makes a big move on the outside. He goes from eighth place into the lead. At this early stage, Scott's strategy is designed to quicken the pace and force the runners with strong finishing kicks to expend energy early in the race. One year earlier at the World Championships in Helsinki, Scott was outkicked by Steve Cram of Great Britain in a thrilling stretch duel. Khalifa of Sudan, number 780, follows Scott into the turn as Sebastian Coe moves into third place. Cram is behind Coe. Down the stretch, coming up to two laps to go. Scott still leads. Coe is second. Abascal of Spain moves alongside Khalifa. Cram is fifth. They hold their positions for the next 100 meters, but down the back stretch, Scott has been unable to shake off the other runners. Coe is second, Abascal of Spain third, Khalifa Sudan fourth, followed by Steve Cram and Steve Ovet of Great Britain. With 600 meters left, Scott has lost his gamble. Abascal moves past the tiring American into the lead. Coe is second. He is followed by his teammates, Steve Cram and Steve Ovet. Moving into fifth place, Jim Spivey of the United States. Unbeknownst to anyone, Steve Ovet is having difficulty breathing. With one lap to go, Jose Abascal on the intermediate time shown on scoreboard P. Into the turn with less than a lap to go, the exhausted Steve Ovet retires from the race. Down the back stretch with 300 meters left. Abascal leads, followed by Cram and Coe of Great Britain. Coe now starts his finishing kick. Cram tries to stay with him. Abascal is third. Joseph Cheshire of Kenya has moved into fourth. Sebastian Cole first, Steve Cram second, Jose Abascal, Spain third. Sebastian Cole stands on the top step of the victory platform. For Sebastian Cole, there is one additional honor. The 1500 meters has been run in every Olympiad since the Olympic Games were revived in Athens in 1896. And Sebastian Cole becomes the first and only man to ever win the gold medal, twice. Uh, the pole vault in progress. We've also got the javelin in progress at the moment. And a packed house.